Hey guys, Rune Picker here from another lock picking video, and today I'm excited to bring to you a custom pick picture. These picks are from Hillbilly Lock Sport, and he made these ones specifically for picking medicos. So today we're gonna do a review on them, see how that they work. And we're using the hashtag cool picks. And so first off, we got a lifter pick, and this is 33 thousandths, which will fit in the medico keyway very nicely. So we can see. We got this custom beautiful handle and we got that tip on it with the the crescent on it and then i don't know how well you guys can see that there you go that's a good shot you can see that it has the hash marks in the epoxy which is really cool and then for this one we got a, a gem and again look at the beautiful grain work and we got that gem profile on top and then you can see that we got the the shiny purple, almost like amethyst on here. So these two are the picks that I used when I first picked Medicos, this SS Dev Deep Hook and my standard hook in uh, 25 thousandths. And then this one we're gonna use to scramble the pins. And then we have our tension bar in 50 thousandths. So let's get this in the vise. go there we go okay that's not going anywhere so let's go ahead and scramble these pins this is a six pin medico biaxial and we're gonna see how easy it is to pick this i picked this once for my belt level already so we're gonna see how much of a difference these two picks make What I'm doing is I'm using this lifter pick to hook behind the pins and rotate them. I'm going to use this gem to do the lift test. Yeah, per typical like we always see, the last back two pins are the ones that are don't want to bind very or rotate I should say I don't think we have it yet but we can check here in a second Three and four, it looks like. It's getting there. I think we might have it here. Let's check. getting the shear yet so we're not fully rotated yet so far what I like about these hooks obviously they look really nice but for functionality they hold up really well to the abuse like I'm looking at these and I've been real like scraping on the warding and there's no scratches it still looks pristine and uh, <clears throat> it's really sturdy 
you know, for 33,000s, like I said, it should hopefully be sturdy. And uh, there we go, that looks good. Let's see if we're... Let me check if there's, I can't tell if I'm slipping off the pins or... always rotating these pins is what's always the most difficult part let's see if we can Still pin six. There we go. Let's see if we can lift this up with this. We're getting the shear. Now, let me open this up real quick. And uh, one thing I noticed, I'll tell you guys after I get this open because I don't want to lose my rotation. There we go, got it open. So one thing on this gem that I noticed, and maybe it's because of the way that it's interacting with the pins is because it's 33,000s, maybe it's a handle, I don't know, but I get really distinct feedback with this pick, this Peterson pick, but the feedback is not as prominent with this gem. And then this lifter pick, um, it lifts these really nicely because it's what it's designed for, but I like to use it as a turning tool, but just try, it's not quite as steep as our, um, SS dev hook is just like slightly more hooked, I guess, on this SS dev, which makes it a little bit easier to hook behind those pins and rotate them. But I have opened, I have opened this with just using this only before, so I know it is possible. Like I opened this one and one other Medico using just this to rotate the pins. So, but overall, I really like these. I love how they hold up. They definitely, like I said very sturdy. I've, I've been almost exclusively using these two picks on as much stuff as possible to get give him feedback and stuff. And uh, yeah, they uh, work. I, my main suggestion, critique would be maybe uh, thinner metal will give you more feedback. I don't know. Uh, maybe a different handle material will import more vibration. I'm not sure how to improve that, but for cosmetic stuff, I think it'd be really cool if you either put your logo on the handle or like maybe like engraved it on on the hook. Like you look at these Petersons and they say PH1. Like yours could be HL on the hook here, like right here. So just say HL on the fat part of the hook. 
But uh, other than that, I really enjoyed it. If you guys like this content, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.